as a prize for being such a good answerer of questions. <laughs> um, I'm going to get more. That's you, the, yes, you yeah. get the, uh, the President's uh, bonus prize, bonus <laughs> question. Um, well, the two questions, actually. Um, the first one is, um, the, how, how fast do you see the transition um, in sort of international students' regime, if you like, happening um, uh, in terms of the sort of income threshold, mm -hmm. changing the sort of nature of people coming into the country and therefore affecting the labour market. And a separate question is, one of the issues that has come up is that uh, within the permanent, within the um, skilled migrant uh, program, the families of skilled migrants mm -hmm. also get counted and basically sort of fill out the program. Are you looking at changing how they're counted? Yeah, great. Thanks, Laura. Um, so, um, so with regard to students, um, so let me just say, it's really important that we move really quickly on this. We don't have time to waste and with a reform as substantial and all-encompassing as this, you know, this could, this, this could take a very long time and I don't want it to. Um, it's really urgent that we fix the problems that we can now. And so what we're working on at the moment is sequencing out how we would um, move to the new system as quickly as we can and it's going to be a piece by piece, not one day we move into a new migration system for the country. So when you talk about students, um, there are some things that are already going to happen which will basically immediately address some of the issues that I've talked about and the increase to Tismet is the most important there. This is a substantial increase to ensure we have skilled workers coming under a skilled program and it will have effect effectively from the 1st of July this year. The points test is really, really important um, and this is something where I think there's enormous value for the country to be gained and something that can be changed without um, kind of extensive um, systemic um, kind of processes that have to be gone through. So that's something that we're really looking at as a kind of uh, a next cab off the rank to think about how we can make swift changes. The reason that that acts so quickly is that like Tismet, it basically can take effect immediately. So we process um, permanent resident visas all the time, if we change the system, we can choose when it takes effect. So I think those are important things that will improve some of the issues that I've um, talked about with international students. It's really important that we be very careful and consultative in any changes that are being foreshadowed and discussed here. This is a really important sector to our country and it is a great thing that we do in training up so many people in our brilliant education system. And whatever we do with regard to the integrity of it, we've got to make sure that that's not having um, adverse effects that you know, we could have predicted if we'd, if we'd taken our time. So I just say, I want to move really quickly, but we do need to move carefully on this. Um, with regard to your second question, so you, you're right, Laura, um, one of the kind of many um, dirty little secrets of the migration system is that that permanent um, visa list that we create each year actually um, counts family members, which is not, that's not a bad thing, it's just a reflection of that, um, you know, it's a reflection really of how small it is as a part of the overall scope of our migration program. One of the big untapped um, levers that we have here is the capacity of partners who are coming here to contribute to our economy. Um, we can see really clearly in the data that partners of skilled migrants are not engaging with the labour market to the degree that their qualifications suggest that they should be. Um, so part of the reform project that I've talked about today is digging in on that question. It's particularly for migrant women. Often the problem is that they've got skills and qualifications that they earned overseas and we have this very cumbersome process of recognising those qualifications. So that's, that's part of the mix here. So maybe I could just, um, I just um, say one more thing before we, we finish up here. Um, you asked me a question about population. If I can just be a little bit clearer about that. I'm, I'm not someone who advocates for a big Australia in this conversation. What's really important to me is that we've got these big national problems facing our country and we're not getting the right people here through the migration system to help us um, address them. So the focus of this task is not about more people. It's not about a bigger program. And the likely impact of the changes that I've suggested here is probably a slightly smaller migration program over time. But what matters most is what this system is doing for our country. At the moment, it is broken and our government is planning to fix it.